Taking a look outside, lots of hot dogs being grilled today, I'm sure. It's going to be a warm one to do it. Chief Meerologist Ashley Brown here to break that down for us. Uh, I know hot dogs are supposed to go with the 4th of July, but mm -hmm. when I see that every year, right. I just I can't do it. i got to take a break. From hot dogs? Yeah, kind of yeah, just do, yes, hot dogs I just you? can't. Yeah, I mean, I'm always very jealous of him. I mean, he can eat 63 hot dogs, and he's still a very trim <laughs> still, guy. Yes, I wish I had that, too. I eat sure. one piece of bread. and <laughs> I look at it, and it's like over, so yeah. <laughs> nope, so he's a very lucky guy for that. Um, not that we want that many hot dogs. Yeah. And we don't want the heat and humidity oh, that man. we have right now, either. But... Today is not the hottest. Tomorrow will be. Oh, um, as we look at the forecast here tonight, fireworks forecast, I know a lot of people headed downtown tonight or even uh, maybe to see local fireworks. If so, uh, we're going to see temperatures in the upper 80s at 8 p.m. So if you're getting in position at that point, trying to get your favorite spot uh, to check out the fireworks at 8 p.m., still very warm. By 9 p.m., temperatures start to fall. Skies become partly cloudy um, and it becomes a, a bit more comfortable for you. So by the time the fire fireworks start, it will be comfortable. A bit on the muggy side, but that humidity not extreme temperature. Tonight. Let's start you out here talking about the thunderstorm watch that we have out for areas north of Benton County here. Um, this out until includes Benton County until 8 p.m. Um, I think we'll be done with it earlier than 8 p.m. As you can see, the storm is actually sitting right to the west of us. I think it will move over us, uh, move over areas off to the north at around a, uh, 6 p.m. actually. So in the next 45 minutes, 6 p.m. and across the state line and begin to move into Benton County there. This system will stay north, north of the Lafayette Kokomo line, not expected to move much further than that. And even at this point, you look at it, the system has been weakening as it moves into Gary and Crown Point, but still a few thunderstorm watches and warnings sitting off to our west that we'll monitor here. 90 degrees feels like 91. So we have the humidity, but it's not extreme. Once this dew point gets to around 70, then you really start to feel much warmer than the actual air temperature here. So the next hour or two is kind of the peak heating of the day. And as we look at that storm chance, I promised you that those storms will stay north. Take a look at our futurecast forecasting model here showing some activity north this evening and tomorrow morning seeing activity north once again. A lot of it staying north of South Bend and Fort Wayne for you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, a better chance of seeing more widespread storms. We are under the severe threat, the slight risk for strong and severe storms. That threat stretching from French Lick up to South Bend. That threat staying with us because the heat and humidity creating quite a bit of instability in the atmosphere and we could spark a shower or storm at any point. As far as the heat and humidity tomorrow, let's dive in because it's hot and it's humid. Some of the warmest air we've seen so far this season. The warmest day of the year has been 95. We can match that tomorrow. We even see temperatures slightly warmer. It will feel like it's about 104 to 105 in the peak heating of the day. Whenever it's that warm, it feels that warmer, uh, we issue uh, a heat advisory. Heat advisory out for much of the state until 9 p.m. tomorrow. From 1 p.m. until 9 p.m., that heat advisory out. We'll deal with hot conditions for you on your Tuesday and hot conditions for you on your Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday as well, but temperatures begin to fall. As far as rain chances here, we'll see the chance for an isolated shower or storm for you on Tuesday evening. A better chance of seeing some storms for you on Wednesday. Peterman Brothers, heat and cooling forecast. Temperatures over the next eight days, seeing those numbers slowly uh, increase tomorrow and then decrease as we head towards the end of the work week. So drink plenty of water if you're headed out. All right. Thank you, Ashley.